I was pretty excited when I found out that there are a set of iPads available from the Emily Carr Library for faculty to use in the classroom. Teaching in media arts, specifically in video production and sound production, um, you might imagine that the iPad has a lot of functions that kind of tie over really nicely with the mediums that I work in. I thought using the iPads created an opportunity to introduce some of the, the ideas um, and the concepts and even some of the technical processes that we use in video and sound production, but it allowed us to kind of get into those ideas without being a bit like hindered by learning complex technologies first. It kind of liberated them to really focus on more the creative processes that I wanted to introduce them to, um, and it liberated them to really focus on their, uh, their ideas. My community projects class is a little bit of a different nature. <laughs> we have a partnership with the David Suzuki Foundation, and we also end up often having partnerships with other organizations where we work with people out in the community, and it's site-specific. It asks students to work almost like repeatedly during the semester outside, sometimes an hour drive from campus, um, and they're often outside in nature with equipment that they're just learning. In a lot of ways, they're working in a professional capacity, and we have professional relationships that we need to honor. They are ambassadors for the school um, and for the project. I'm aware that they could end up in a situation where uh, they have one hour to either meet with a, a planner from a city council or interview somebody from an organization or just get their equipment safely somewhere out in nature or um, they just can't remember what button they were supposed to press and this is this is their opportunity with all the equipment and all the people and the circumstances and so um, because of that uh, I want to be sure that I'm available to them as much as possible so I give them my cell number and let them know that they can phone me and text me also because we have multiple meetings over the course of the semester um, with our project partners out in the community um, and those are, again, professional relationships, and so I ask students, if something has happened and you are going to be delayed, I need you to text me in advance to let me know um, that you are coming in late and why it's happening. We have to function a lot more in the way that you would, I feel like, in a professional context, and because of that, 